and Legacy Arena in Birmingham are all excited for this 1A girls championship between Phillips and Skyline. Now Phillips playing with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder after losing in the title game last year. Skyline trying to spoil Phillips' dreams of revenge. The Vikings coming out hot in the second half of the game, hitting five threes. Caitlin Ledwell led Skyline with 19 points. Have a shot from there ever since I was in eighth grade. <laughs> And when the shots were falling, the Vikings were up 55 to 46 early in the fourth. But when they stopped, Phillips took advantage. The Bears scored 25 points in the last quarter of the game. And then all the momentum just kind of switched off. And the big girls were forcing her. We carried it in there. You know, we couldn't. She was blocking everything we shot in there. And here's the play that changed everything. Misty Dishner ain't wasting no time. She takes the ball from Skyline, goes down the court, and nails the layup. Now Phillips is up by one with a minute to play, and they'll add a few more from the line, and that is ball game. Final, Phillips 71, Skyline 63. We'd, we'd, we'd had a great season, you know, win 29 games and play in the state championship game. We, plenty of coaches would love to be in this situation. And, and, I couldn't ask for a better bunch of girls. They do everything I tell them to do, and you know they they live a rough life for a while. And, and you know, and it's I mean, I, I'm I'm really excited for them and the community. So a big congrats to Skyline on being the runners up in Class 1A. And now we lost. I think it was worth it, worth getting here. We worked really hard, and I'm glad we made it here. Now this is not our only game today. We have Decatur Heritage. The boys are looking for the 1A state championship. They have rolled through the entire postseason, so we'll see if they can win all the marbles tonight at 10 on Way. Reporting in Birmingham, Lyndon Blake, Way 31 Sports.